Well, hello everybody and happy October. Here it is, the 1st of October already, uh, almost into the fall season. The weather's changing, leaves are changing. Uh, we've been having a lot of cool, drizzly weather here lately in DMV. Uh, this morning I will, I'm going to speak from Psalm 90, verse 17. It says, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Um, and I'm thinking about the, uh, the changing of the, the leaves and the, the different colors that we have throughout, uh, you know, throughout our uh, mountains and the trees and things. And, uh, it seems to come alive in the fall. It's almost like at the beginning of spring when, when things start to turn green and, and uh, flowers start to bud. Uh, this is the time of year where you see the reds and the yellows and the oranges in, in the trees. And um, my wife and I love to ride through the mountains and and just to see the, the the colors and see how God does things in nature. But that's the beauty of the Lord as well. Um, but my question today for myself as well as for all of us: Can people see the beauty of God in us? You know, sometimes as Christians we can be really ugly. <laughs> we we can uh, things we say, things we think, things we do. Uh, and then we look back and say, man, that was that was ugly. That was not good. Uh, that did not reflect the love of God, the beauty of God, the grace of God, uh, and the forgiveness of God. Uh, sometimes we have to examine ourselves. Many times we have to examine ourselves. Because in this world, um, everybody's not reading the Bible. Let's face it, everybody's not listening to Christian songs. And many people are not going to church, reading their Bibles. So how do they see God? Well, they see God in us. They feel God's love in us. They experience God in and through us. Now, one of my friends in Puerto Rico on many mission trips always ask at the end of each day, where you see God today? Where you see God today? And that's a question I've been asking myself, uh, trying to do it throughout today. Where have I seen God? But also, where have others seen God in me? Uh, I'm trying to convince myself and convict myself uh, to be a better representation of Christ to others, uh, whether it's the, the young people that I teach, uh, those who I, I mentor, or uh, in, within my own family. Do my children and grandchildren see God in me? Do they see the love of Christ? Do they experience the, His forgiveness, His grace, and His correction? Uh, and do I do things in love, or do I do things uh, because I want to, because I feel like it? Uh, sometimes my feelings can get in the way of, of what God wants me to do. And uh, thank God that he doesn't feel like doing things to me uh, when, when I mess up, when I uh, fall short. Um, he felt like saving me. He felt like dying for me. He felt like sacrificing his life for me. And, and for all of us, if we just accept his sacrifice of the cross, his resurrection from the dead, his, his gift of the Holy Spirit within us, if we just accept it, if we just, if we just give it to God um, and allow him to work in it through us, so let's pray today for each other that we can reflect the love of Christ today to others. That when they see us, they can see his beauty. They can see his grace. They can see his love. And they can want him for themselves. God bless you today. Have a great day. And as always, if I can pray for you in any way at all, please let me know. I'll talk to you soon.